What's up my friends, welcome back. Well today we're gonna have a different kind of video and by different I mean it won't be a project video but neither a theory video. We'll have a top 8 PCBs that I have on this channel this last few months. I will show the PCBs and talk a little bit about each project, so please sit back and enjoy the video. For those who are new to this channel, this might be interesting and teach you something. And if you are a long time subscriber to this channel, this will remind you about some of the projects that you have seen on this channel. So this is what we will do. I will show you each PCB separately and I will talk just a little bit about each one, just the main characteristics. And I will also tell you what you could learn with each project. I will also leave all the videos below in the description of this video. So as you all know, GLC PCB is the sponsor of my videos for about 2 years now. Thanks to them I was able to increase the rate of my projects and also invest more money into more modules and also to buy new components for new tutorials for you guys. So they proposed me in order to promote their services to make a short video where I show you all the PCBs that I made these last few months. What you could achieve by using professional made PCBs, how your project will improve and stuff like that. So guys I hope that you will enjoy these top 8 PCBs. You have all the links for each video below this video. So with no more introduction let's get started. What's up my friends, welcome back. We start this top 8 PCB video with one of my first PCBs that I've made. This was the project of the mini drone with brushed DC motors. The design PCB was first CNC milled and then I've ordered the version 1 from GLC PCB and it had a way better look. Having a solder mask is way much easier to place the components because the solder will stick only to the exposed pads. This first version was not a success, since it had some errors that I had to fix. Then I've made version 2 for the same project. This new PCB had the shape of a drone, a few extra improvements and spaces for the DC motors directly onto the PCB. My idea was to build directly the drone without needing a 3D printed body as in the last version. Soldering the components was very easy and the new code was working quite good. But now I had a different problem. The propellers were now way smaller and the new PCB was filled with copper and that made the drone heavier. The combination of smaller propellers and heavy drone body made this project to fail again because I didn't have enough power to lift from the ground. That's why in version 3 for this project I tried to make the body weight less. I've done that by removing the copper fill from the board and also make the board width of only 0.8mm. I had to try this option as well. But now the PCB was too flexible and start to vibrate too much. That's why right now I'm working on other shapes for this PCB and trying better solutions. But having the services of GLC PCB for only $2 plus shipping, I was able to make all these versions and try different PCBs without paying a lot of money. When designing a product, testing and experimenting is crucial, till you get a good design and ordering from GLC PCB was very easy, was very fast and cheap. So check their webpage for more details. Ok guys, now let's jump to number 7. Since I was working on a drone project, I've also tried to make a radio control directly on a PCB. Now we have seen a lot of homemade radio controllers on this channel. And the last one had even a 3D printed case and a way better look, close to a commercial one. So back then I've tried to make a very cheap radio controller that had all the components directly onto the PCB. The joysticks, the switches, the microcontroller and the radio module with the antenna. This project was a success and together with a good Arduino code, this controller could send up to 32 channels and for a distance of around 700 meters if using the amplified antenna like this one. Soldering the components was very easy as well because I've also ordered the SMD stencil from GLC PCB as well and that helped me solder the small SMD components using the solder paste. The total price is quite low, including the PCB you could make this project for around $12 or so. You have the video for this below in the description and if you want a more commercial look controller with better joysticks, consider looking at my last video with the 3D printed Arduino based controller and to learn more about the theory behind these radio devices, see my video about the NRF24 radio module with Arduino. Ok guys, now let's see number 6. This is my own version of an Arduino Uno board. A lot of you guys asked me about this project and you also wanted to make one yourself. Since Arduino is open source, anyone could make their board using the same schematic or adding new parts to the existing circuit. My version of the Arduino, which is the board that I'm using every day, has a red solder mask with white seal clear. I've placed a double row of pins because I use the Arduino Uno with my breadboard a lot 
and I always need a lot of connections with jump wires. My board has a mini BUSB connector, an FTDA programmer, a DIP version of the Atmega 328 chip, white color LEDs and also an SPI SMD port for the small version of the NRF24 radio module like this one, since I use this radio receiver a lot. I've also placed my logo on the back of the board and by that I give it a more unique look. The rest of the PCB is quite the same as the others, it has the same shape, so it is compatible with any other Arduino shield. As always I share the Gerber files for this PCB as well, if you want to order it yourself and build this same project. See the links for that below this video. Ok guys, now let's see number 5. This was a very simple project to make, but the reason behind this project was to learn how to use the bootloader for the internal clock of 8MHz with the Atmega 328 chip. Also to see how to use the interruptions and very low power mode in order to save the battery life for this digital watch. And yes, this is a digital watch that uses some LEDs to show the time with a resolution of 5 minutes. The LED will stay turned on for the hour and it will blink to show the minute. Using just one push button you can set the time and show the real time. It uses a button type battery on the back and with the low power mode this could last around 2 days and because the battery is rechargeable you can use it more times. This is not a perfect project and something that you could wear each day, but I hope that the project and the video will teach you more about Arduino programming. Now for number 4 we have a recent PCB. This was my last design and this is an RC car PCB that you could use for any kind of radio controlled toys. It is compatible with the previous project of the Arduino based radio controller and you could use the receive radio data to control DC motors, to control some lasers, servo motors or ESCs, lights and much more. In a previous example I've used this controller to move a 3D printed turret and shoot out some fireworks. For that the PCB has a space for an Unref24 radio module and a MOSFET that could be connected to the Nichrome wire and by that shoot fireworks or do anything else. The board also has an H-bridge module that could control two DC motors. It could control the speed but also the rotation direction. So that is great for my 3D printed tank in order to move around. This board also has a DF player so we could play MP3 sounds using the Arduino and by that we can give sounds to our projects such as a cannon sound or engine sound for my tank. The board has two regulators for 3.3 and 5 volts, has three outputs for servo motors or ESCs and the best thing it also has a Bluetooth module. So using the app that I've designed you could control this RC car PCB as well and that makes this project a lot better. You have the full video below where you could see the schematic, the Gerbers for the PCB and the full code. Ok guys, now we have the top 3, 2 and 1. For number 3 I have one of the projects that I most like. And this is the smartwatch project. This was a very long project as well, where I had all kind of errors, but I was finally able to receive notification from the smartphone using a bluetooth module. I was able to set an alarm that will beep with a buzzer, get the real time from the real time chip on the back and display all this information on the OLED display. This PCB has a USB connector together with an FTDI chip, so programming was very easy. It has a buzzer, some LEDs, some push buttons on the side and much more components. I was able to make the second version a lot smaller and it also has spaces for a watch belt. It works with a very small battery and on the PCB we also have a charging circuit and protection for this small LiPo battery. So charging this battery is very easy with a USB connector. This project will receive Bluetooth notification from Twitter, from YouTube, from Instagram or phone calls and much more could display the date and the time, you could set an alarm or display logos. So I'm quite happy with the results of this project. Now let's see number 2. This is probably my favorite project and this also has 3 versions till I had good results. This is a portable soldering iron and by the way this is also a kickstarter. I had very good results with this board. The final version is the version 3.3. The board comes together with a 3D printed case that I've designed. We have an OLED display that will show the real temperature but also a menu where you could set all kind of settings. On the board we can see a buzzer, we have the Atmega 328 chip once again, we have an amplifier that will read the thermocouple inside of the iron tip, we have a MOSFET that will apply power to that iron tip, a vibration sensor for entering sleep mode automatically and much more components. 
The reason I like this board is because it works how I want it to work. It is very small, it is cheap to build and it's also very good soldering iron. It gets hot very fast, has a decent quality and it is homemade and together with the 3D printed case will make this a very good product. It works with a 5S battery and you could take this with you wherever you want. Building this project will teach you a lot. You will see how temperature PID control works, how to amplify and read the thermocouple, how to create the interruptions, how to use the OLED display, burn the bootloader and much more. A lot of you guys already built this project and had more or less good results. I hope that you will also support my Kickstarter and receive one of the kits with all the components that you need to make your own homemade portable soldering iron. So this was my design of the soldering iron. Now let's see number 1. And that is my open source ESC board. For about 2 years I was trying and testing different types of homemade ESCs, which are electronic speed controllers for brushless motors. I've made videos about sensorless or sensored ESCs, with or without PWM control and all kind of other tests. I finally made a board together with a firmware that are good enough to be compared with a commercial one. I'm sharing all the files for this project as open source so everyone could use my board and the code and improve this project if they want. I've made two versions that are quite the same but one has more improvements, such as the exposed tracks that could be filled with solder for more current. The board could reach very high speeds. It uses analog interruptions with the internal comparator and controls speed with a PWM input just as any other ESC. It also has a buzzer, some LEDs, an FTDA programmer so we could program this board with an USB connector and on the back we have the triple phase MOSFET bridge and some MOSFET drivers. I'm more than happy with the results and right now I'm working on improving this board, make it smaller, get a better code with a better and faster back EMF and share that with you guys. So these were my top 8 PCBs for this year. You have the videos for each board below in the description. Please make sure that you activate the notification bell because only 23% of my subscribers are watching my videos. And if you are new to this channel consider subscribing and if you want also consider supporting my work on Patreon. All the links for this are below this video. So thanks again and see you later guys.